You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. This is Let It Go with your host, Barbara Scheidegger. Barbara will uncover techniques of releasing old patterns that are unconsciously made and bring them up to the conscious mind to help you let them go. So now, please welcome the host of Let It Go, Barbara Scheidegger. Welcome to BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidegger, and you are listening to Let It Go. There is no future in the past. What counts is now. Now gives the foundation for tomorrow, the future. So let's leave now what we have, what we can do. Let's make the decision today what will move you forward to get what you want. I'm a a clinical hypnotherapist, and my goal is to help you to reach your goal. Hypnotherapy, let's emphasize on therapy. No, 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 I say, I won't make you bark like a dog. I don't make you hop around like, uh, around like a chicken, or I won't get your deepest secrets. In hypnotherapy, you are in total control of what's going on. You can hear me. You can uh, respond to me. Uh, you can reject suggestions. You're in control of yourself. In hypnotherapy, in that state of being, it's just you. It's you and nobody else. You connect to yourself, to your deeper insight, to the unconscious mind. This is powerful. This is where you can make the change. I say, when you tried everything and everything you've tried has not helped, what do you do? You went to the doctor, you got your pills, you got your medicine. It has not changed. In the contrary, now something else hurts because there are side effects. It does not go to the core of the problem. It just covers up the symptoms. You still feel like you ha- you're, sh- you're shortened of something in your life. Somehow you cannot get the life you want. Even when you put your thought into it, in the morning you wake up and something pops up again. Oh no, oh no, we're not doing this. We haven't done this for years. Why should we change it? We have our habits. In hypnotherapy, I can help you to go deep in that state and make that change and bring it up to the conscious, to the awareness, what you're actually doing. The question is not why, it what is it? What is it? What is your story? And how can we get rid of it? And once that done, that is done, how can you move forward to get your goal? It's the what and the how. The why is not important. It just creates uh, actually stress or resentment towards other people. Remember a, a, a toddler that says, you start talking to him and say, the sun is shining today. And he starts, starts why? Well, it's day. Why? Well, so we get warm. Why? Well, so we are we're healthy and we can move on. And it's daytime and the why and the why goes on until you... You, you you don't know what to say anymore and you just cut him off. It's just the way it is. And that's what we do with ourselves too. When you start with the why, 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 at the end it's just that's the way it is. 
I discovered I a very special approach, which I call the Scheidegger approach. And the Scheidegger approach can help you to move forward. Trust me, there is hope. It is a unique, unique approach to help you to identify, uh, identify your problem, like anxiety, pressure, stress, anything that's holding you back. It's an approach so you can learn how to understand, how to get out of your own way and out of these obstacles and focus on your success. Hypnotherapy is a key. The Scheidegger approach can help in 21 days to bring you to the platform so you can move on to your success. So you don't have to go for years or months and work on it and talk about it constantly. We just look at it. Is this what you want to get rid of? Yes. What do you want to have in your life? What should be new in your life? What is your desire? And that's when we're working forward towards the desire. Hypnotherapy is natural, safe, and a very powerful way to help you to stay focused and create a life lasting change. And that's what we want, not an overnight fix. And I'm telling you, it's not an overnight fix. It's work. You have to work on yourself. And somebody just told me the other day, but it's hard, but it's hard, but it's hard. And they say, no, look at us a challenge. It is a challenge. And you, you've overcome many challenges. Now let's go through this challenge and you learn from this challenge how you can move forward. The past is the past. We leave it behind. We don't want to linger in the past. There's nothing in there. You just take what you have learned from the past. That serves purpose. You move forward. And at the same time, that includes society, your friends, the friends you meet. When is the time, actually, when you decide today is the day to let go? Today, I might make that decision I let go of my old stories that I linger in, my explanation, listening to others, what I should do and what I shouldn't have done. And you should be, you should be, should be. It's enough to please always being a people pleaser or you're a, uh, a student. You have to be in, in the best class. You have to be the best singer. Uh, you have to do this. You have to please your parents. At the end of the day, it is your life. You create your life. Be bold enough to use your voice. Be brave enough to listen to your heart and strong enough to live the life you always wanted. It is your life. And you have the right to get your life the way you want it to have. Letting go of the past allows you to create your future life, to move forward, seeing and feeling that life that you've always wanted. It means what are you able also to let go? What are you willing to let go? It is a given and taken situation. But the things you let go, they don't serve purpose in life anymore. What does it need for you today to make that change? All your negativity around you affects not only your body, your health and affects your mind. So I have a very, very special guest when we come back from this break. We want to ask her how she was able to let go and to move forward. You are listening to BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. 
I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker, and you are listening to Let It Go. Stay tuned. Essential Nutrients LLC is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of Essential Liquid Nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take Essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the realization of your dreams by making them a reality based in quebec canada joanne is also a space coach using social media and skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world contact joanne charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca 819-360-3266 now is your time Welcome back to BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker, and you are listening to Let It Go. There is no future in the past. You can reach me at 323-999-4775, or you can contact me at barbara at letitgohypnosis.com. I'm thrilled today to introduce you to a very special lady who overcame came many obstacles in her life and challenges in her life. And she's very close to my heart when I talk to her. Her name is Sasha Blakey, Certified Children's Life Coach. Hi, Sasha. How are you? I'm so happy to hear Hello, you Barbara. and to have you here. Uh, well, Barbara, thank you for having me on. It's so great to be with you. Oh, I, I'm thrilled that you had that you made your time just to give your message through today. Because I know that you had many hardships in your life. You went through hard times. Uh, as far as I know, you you were a cancer survivor. You had um, eating problems, and this was just so much going on. But to me. I just want to know today, I know you were able to let go and you moved on. And you have, today I say, uh, you you have a fantastic life. Is that a life you always wanted? You know, honestly, I couldn't even have dreamt of it. I mean, when someone says my dream life, this is beyond my wildest dreams. I never thought I could get to this place in my life. What did it need to get there? What have you done? I mean, you have, like I said, you went o- overcame so many obstacles in life. What did you have to let go? What clicked that suddenly that you say, hey, this is my life. I need to move on in my own way. What, what's the little thing that just made click? You know, that's a great question. It's 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 not like one thing i would say it was i think i suddenly started to realize that i was living inside of the shell of what was me i mean i was it's like i could see what was happening in my life but my life was happening to me instead of me happening in my own life and when i started to realize you know i'm young and i i can't imagine living so many more years in this shell, just kind of watching a movie of my life as I'm 
I don't know, uh, you know, a, a passenger in my life. I thought, yeah. I, I can't. So what, then that came that point in your life that you just were able to make that change? Yeah, I was just, you know, I was a really big people pleaser, especially my parents. Oh. I had very strict <laughs> parents growing up, and I, I always did every, I'm the oldest of six children, so I did everything, not just to help, but always to be the quote-unquote perfect child. And um, when I was 27, I was diagnosed with cancer. And that was, I never forget to this day, the first comment that one of my parents said when I told them was, well, don't tell other people. And oh, I thought, yeah. Yeah, that's so shaming, because once again, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. So that was probably the first step. But then, you know, the next four years going through the treatments and stuff, I was kind of checked out. And then suddenly I thought, you know what? I can't live, I can't live a life like this anymore. I need to wake up. I literally felt like, is this my life or someone else's life? Because they've lived their lives. Now it's time for me to live mine. I'm so glad you realized that. Yeah, Yeah, it was like the first step. And then, as you know, I moved um, to California, and that's when I actually met Barbara. And with a lot of Barbara's help and support, you know, things really started shaping up and transforming. And, you know, there's work involved. It's, it's, I always say I'm a whip work in progress. So, you know, it never ends. That's very good. I love that. Right. I'm the whip. So, right. So I have to always, you know, otherwise you become, you fall to the wayside. Either you're in it to win it or you're, you know, out standing on the sidelines. And I I want to be in it. And I think that was one of the important things that Barbara really showed me from the beginning is you can be a passive person on the sidelines, but then your life happens to you and you can't complain about it. Or if you want to make your life happen and get the life that you want or more than you could dream of, you have to be an active participant. You have to get on the field. Exactly. It's, uh, but let's go back once, you know, I, I remember you when you said you, when you got cancer, how was the, the treatment with the doctors? What did doctor tell you? Did you follow the instruction or, uh, you know, it, was it gone after four years? What happened so there? Was, so here was the, I have to tell you, this is Sadly, one of the worst things that happened. So uh, originally I'm from Chicago, and so my initial treatments were in Chicago. The doctors, I have to tell you, were lovely, so helpful, so kind. So, I mean, they gave me phone calls at home and checked on me, and it, it was fantastic. Halfway through, however, I had to move to New York. When I moved to New York and switched hospitals, I actually switched to one of the most prominent hospitals for cancer and I never forget I was in the waiting room and it was three hours to get in and I told the doctor this is unacceptable I have a job I I, I can't I can't be gone for three hours for one visit and she said tough you're young look at the other people in this waiting room they're old I have to help them first I thought that was the most shocking thing I had ever heard in my life. I just became speechless. Yes. I mean, I was oh my devastated. God. Devastated. I cried seriously probably the next week. And what was happening then after that? You just, you did just let you uh, do your things or you had to go back to, to treatments what was happening oh, after that? Going for, yeah, I had to keep, they said um, for the particular type of cancer I had on the initial diagnosis, they said, oh, this is one of the best ones you can get. They're easy to treat. Well, oh, wonderful. That's what they, yeah, that's what they said. But so, the long but story became a longer story. Yeah. Let's listen to this longer story af- after this message. We are listening to BBM Global Network. Tune in radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker. And stay tuned for more information and for, for the long story. 
animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. And welcome back to BPM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker, and you are listening to Let It Go. There is no future in the past. We, I have still that wonderful person on the phone with me and Sasha Blakey, who is a cancer survivor. And just, just Sasha, just tell me about your experience. You know, we started this, we started with the, the, the treatments. How did that go? Yeah, so I, I, I just to catch up. Uh, so I was diagnosed with cancer when I was 27, and this is after a few years of me continually going to doctors and saying, you know, I feel something, and they kept dismissing me because they said I was so young that there's nothing there. So long story short, through the kindness and goodness of one doctor who decided to be very cautious, overly cautious, she actually tested me and found out that I did have fact cancer and it had spread at that point since it had been neglected. Um, My initial treatments were in Chicago which was fantastic but then I had to move to New York for job reasons which was a very negative experience Um, and what was supposed to as they told me from the initial diagnosis what was supposed to take one surgery and then be done went into four years of treatment and at the end of the four years it was still there And so then they were giving me a bunch of unusual and more invasive alternatives. And I said, you know what? I've listened to everybody and I think it's time to just go a different path. It really was Mm -hmm. some time to try something new. So I packed up my things, left New York, which I feel was, for me, it was a kind of a depressing area, and I moved to L.A., which sunshine definitely helps when you're feeling down. Uh, And then I changed everything about my attitude and my health and my lifestyle and focused on well-being. Um, That's also when I met Barbara. I, I really started focusing more on health and nutrition. Not that I wasn't healthy before, but not like this. I mean, and everything from essential oils to you know, how even morning meditations can help. And I I went a whole different route and discovered a world that was amazing, a world of all new possibilities instead of it's X, Y, Z, and that's it. And tell me, what did your family say about this? Your friend, you just left them and you you took off and said, "This I want my new life. Did you keep your friends or were they supporting you? What happened there? 
the flack I had for the next two years was insane. My family wanted nothing more than for me to move back home. Uh, my friends nagged me constantly and kept saying, why? Why would you move far away and be all alone? Why would you? And incidentally, I left without a job. I actually left my, I had a very, very good job in New York, and I left with nothing and with about three months' worth of savings. And I thought, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll make it happen. And sure enough, through, you know, link of events, I wound up, making it happen. But it was, I had to count on myself. I think that's what I yeah. I really started to get is I know what other people can't tell me about myself. Because my whole life, I told you, I was a people pleaser. So I always counted on what people told me about myself. Yeah. And instead oh, I realized, I no. to that. Yeah, I know myself. I don't, they don't know myself. How would they know me? And no matter what I did, I could never make everyone else happy. Because you can't. You can only make yourself happy. And when you do, then others, you know, it steeps out. It's like the trickle effect. Everyone else feels positive around you. But, yeah, I did give, have a lot of flack for a couple of years, especially for abandoning treatments for my cancer. So that was a, that was a tricky one to get over. <laughs> But it And how are you feeling today? Fantastic. I am uh, 11 years cancer-free and feeling great. Um, I even had a, it was able to have a baby, which was fantastic. And she's Aww. the most delicious and wonderful creature on this planet for me. <laughs> yeah, so. I can imagine that. Uh, having your own child and, uh, you know, now you have your own child and you remember your childhood, your parents and I always say they did what they thought it was good for you. Uh, yeah, we cannot true. really blame them because they come from another uh, generation, other grow up, maybe maybe from a different mentality. Now yeah, you have your own child. My parents are also foreign, so they also had you know old school mentality and old school values, which is fantastic. I mean, I'm I'm glad I grew up with that, but at the same time time to bring it forward how do you teach your daughter today what's what message do you give to your daughter today you, what you went through all these uh, hardships hard times and at the end of the day I say of the day but at the end you when you make that change with actually it's amazing with nothing you just packed up and left and came to uh, LA You had a, you had a vision, what you wanted, and somehow you got that. Uh, how how do you teach that your daughter? What, what happened? What, how bring you bring you? Can you bring that through to a young child? Well, I think one of the great questions, Barbara. But I think one of the big things is so. First of all especially from the time my daughter was young, I really wanted her to be able to express herself, her feelings, her emotions, and to let her, her feelings go. I mean, as Barbara says, let it go for real. I really always felt that was so important because I know for me, there were only two allowable emotions in my house. Super happy or just quiet and resigned because you don't like something, but you can't say a word about it. And yeah. I think that caused me to stuff so many feelings and emotions because, I mean, I literally remember, bless my mom, but I literally remember being a young child and my mom explaining to me why I shouldn't feel what I was feeling. Yeah. Uh, you know, I thought that was... It's It's amazing, though. It's, I remember when I was a child, it was always, don't talk un until we ask you a question. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, when, when, when do I get a question? So yeah, yeah, this is amazing. So, Sasha, we need to take a little break, but let's talk yeah. about your, your book you wrote after the break. Uh, you listen to BBM Global Network and tune in radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker.
and you're listening to Let It Go. There is no future in the past. Patricia Fayweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline. And she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes. And she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Welcome back to BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker, and you are listening to Let It Go. There is no future in the past. If you want to contact me, you can call me at 323-999-4775, or you can email me at barbara at letitgohypnosis.com, or you can find me at the website at letitgohypnosis.com. Sasha Blakey. A certified children life coach it's amazing Sasha what you went through in your life and I'm so glad I find that I looked at that book and it's just so interesting to me the bees of emotion I mean it's that is that book called and just explain to me how 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 do you come from you to put that on paper what went through your mind who is going to benefit from that Great question. So actually, some years ago when my daughter was much smaller, uh, I started to notice that, uh, I'll be fair, I'm a bit of a tiger mom, but I started to notice that my daughter, anytime I expressed anything other than just being glad, she would always say, you're angry, you're angry. And I kept telling her, no, I'm not angry right now. Now I'm just this, or, or I would describe different emotions. And then I realized Mm -hmm. something important. She didn't understand. There's no realm of understanding for children for emotion. They're weird and vague words. We have many words to describe often the same emotion. How can a small child at the time, three or four, even grasp what I'm explaining? So then I thought, well, what do children know well? Children know colors. Right? From about eight months old onward, they they know color. So I attached colored bees, we call them bees, with every type Mm -hmm. of emotion a small child would have. Now, by no means are these all of the emotions in the world, but definitely the things that a child would experience on a daily basis, including one that, I don't know, it might be just hers, the striped bee, which is being conflicted. She has a tendency to feel one way and the other at the same time. So Ooh, I, she's I not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I have that too from time to time. Trust me, and I'm growing up. <laughs> yes, yeah, so know, I, like I, I made them all into was... colors. It, it's fantastic. And I made, I made a little story about this bear who feels these little bees inside of him, and if when he he 
expresses them, then the bee flies out and he feels free. But if he doesn't and he holds it in, then the bee swarms and stings inside of him and he feels terrible. So it was just a great way to try to explain to her about expressing herself and her emotions. Well, some friends of mine started hearing about it and they said, oh, this is really good. I want it too. I want it too. So then I wrote it and I just gave it to a few friends. Well, then it kind of started having a trickle effect. There was a one preschool that wanted to use it for their summer program. And then there's a psychiatrist who uses it to explain to children her practice about their emotions. So it it just or organically and I guess grassroots started gaining some momentum, but it really was just designed as a simple and effective tool for having her express what she feels. And like one of the most important ones, for example, is the orange bee. So the orange bee is the bee of caution. You know, that little bee that buzzes when you feel uncomfortable and something is awkward and you have to trust your gut. You know, my daughter's an attractive girl, and sometimes we'll be out somewhere and people will say, oh, you're so pretty, which happens often, but every once in a while I see she recoils. I don't know what vibe she gets, but I want to teach her to trust her gut. So now when she feels that, she just says the word orange to me. I know exactly what that means. She's feeling the orange bee, which is the bee of caution. So I very kindly thank the person for her, and then that's the extent of it. She doesn't have to feel forced or intimidated Mm -hmm. or forced to not feel what she's feeling. I think that's the biggest Mm -hmm. part. It was so she can feel what she feels and let them go, as Barbara says, and that's true. It's to let it all go. That's the whole design of the book, to feel your emotions, express them, and let them go. Exactly. So it's such a fantastic idea that she doesn't have to start to explain herself. Just simply with the color, you uh, you can tell the other person, that's the way I feel. And you as a mom can react to it and say, that's, you know, it's great. I know now how you feel, so let's move on. Uh, yeah. and instead of young children, you know, then, then they get uptight and sometimes they start crying or they get really, really upset and don't know how to handle it. Any child who starts just cre- screaming or yelling, there's emotion that's holding it, that has to go out and has to be explained. If we don't let them, it just sinks in and gets covered up from other things. And kids don't learn like that. They have the right to express themselves in their own way. And this way of colors, I find that fantastic. Where can people buy this book, Sasha? It's available on Amazon.com for Kindle. Um, if anyone wants a hard copy, it's also on Blurb.com. And the the, t- the title is? The Bees of Emotion. Like bees. Zzz. E-E-E-S. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because those are the ones that buzz and sting. Yeah, and that's what our emotions are. And it's, I truly think it would be a great, a great idea when we start teaching that at a young age, even in school. So if, because everybody learns differently, everybody takes information in differently, and everybody has a different reaction to the same thing we see. If kids are able just to express themselves and tell people how how they feel, they become more relieved and uh, they they can express you. themselves in a healthy way. Let me tell you, since I I wrote the book for her, we are meltdown free because <laughs> she's able to just tell me, even if she's. The, so the red bee is frustration and, and being mad. Sometimes she tells me, Mom, I have 10 red bees right now. Oh, I get it. I get what that means. <laughs> but no more mm-hmm. meltdown. Because the meltdown comes yeah. from feeling not expressed. Yeah. Oh, don't look. I know we're talking about children. But aren't we all growing up children right now? And we wish we could you. do the same thing. <laughs> So, if we could imagine uh, being able to turn to your significant other and saying, "Listen, I have ten red bees right now." 
<laughs> Maybe he runs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but he knows what's going on or she knows what's going on. But I find that fantastic. Uh, it's it's a great way of expressing your emotion. And I say, even it would work for adults. As adults, we have to learn also to express our emotions. It, it is a learning experience. So this is a great book for everyone. So we're going to a little break. We, you're listening to BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker, and you're listening to Let It Go. There is no future in the past. Let's talk to Sasha again after this break. Stay tuned. Intergenerational programming is uniting America due to the tireless efforts of Dr. Ramona Frischman. Retired from the Miami-Dade County Public School System, Dr. Frischman continues to develop intergenerational learning programs aimed to improve the lives of children, young adults, and seniors through unique strategies and public policy in order to establish a mutually supportive agenda. She views intergenerational programs as a resource for policymakers and the general public on economic, social, and personal initiatives that govern our society. Her work bridges the generational gap, providing many individuals the opportunity to explore areas of common ground and celebrate each other's diversity. Contact Ramona Frischman at RamonaLong at AOL.com or visit www.gu.org to learn more about intergenerational programming. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. And every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope. There is help. There is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful happy and welcome back to bbm global network and tune in radio i am your host barbara scheidecker and you are listening to let it go there is no future in the past it's now that counts that's now we can move on and we still have that wonderful lady on the line the certified children's life coach sasha blakey who is a cancer survivor and she has just an unbelievable story that she told us right now and life is still good for her and I just want to know Sasha you, you went through all this you have the past then you have the present and you have the future from the past how was the transformation now to come into the life you have now was it just oh my god I'm doing now and you got it overnight or how much work did you put in to transform yourself to be who you want to be and to get the life you wanted Sasha how how your life comes from the past to the present and now towards the future I mean today is the 
the the the the this how do you say the ground you ground your how do you say your future do you design your future today for tomorrow but the past what did you take from the past in order to move forward into your life that you have right now well you know you always have to look in everybody's past there is Whatever negatives you have, there always is some positive. So you want to harness on to the positive aspects. But then focus on not what's missing, but what could I achieve that's more. And so focusing on the positive rather than the negative, what's missing or lacking, allows you to be creative and design something new. And, I, you know, the old saying, practice leads to mastery. And, you know, there's the study of 10,000 hours leads to mastery. So 10,000 hours of practice of whatever you want to make or cause into being is what one needs to start to design and believe and transform your life. And I think that's, it's, it's, there's no overnight fix. There's not a, a pill you can pop to change your life. There's not a one-time visit somewhere that can make you brand new it's practice just how you know when i visit you and then you give me homework it's the homework that actually allows me to master what it is i'm wishing to achieve yes Uh, it's it's a it's a repetition until i mean you you let go your your negativity that the, the things you don't want anymore i say always the files and you replace them with what you want to de- do until they become automatic response too. So it has to be practice. It's like, remember when we had started to uh, to drive the car? To drive, remember? Oh, yeah. I had stick shift, I had to drive. Me too. So I had to, my foot, the clutch, shifting, looking forward, uh, holding the the steering wheel, looking in the mirrors. Oh my God, this was such a big thing. I was shaking. Today I sit in the car, I still have stick, stick shift, but it's so automatically. And that's what we need to bring it in unconsciously that we have an, a positive response to anything that, that challenges us and to move forward and see the good in it. So I, I, I read the book actually from My Stroke, Stroke of Insight uh, from Jill Bold Taylor, she says she had a stroke and uh, she was recovering and she realized she has 90 seconds to switch the positive, the negative thought into a positive. And that means focusing on something positive. If she missed the 90 seconds, she was lingering in the negativity again. So we have, we have uh, to be aware what we're thinking and say, no, I don't want that. I'm focusing on something positive. And you look around and you can find a flower that's beautiful. You see somebody who's laughing or you just sing your favorite song. So it's for me that works very well to just to change a negative thought into positive. Yeah. Even it's great to be alive. I have to tell you, sometimes there's a, so my daughter, because she's very into, obviously she's growing up now with this whole positive mentality. Every morning when I wake her, I have three versions of It's a Good Day, that song. And Mm -hmm. I play a different one every morning, and I walk into her room. That's how I wake her every day, because it is a good day from morning to night. That's how the lyrics go. Yeah, that's it. You know, I I went to the gym this morning, and I went into the locker room, and very loudly I said, I did it again. And everybody looked at me and said, what did you do? I said, I woke up above the ground. Then everybody is like, yeah, I'm alive. You know, it's, it's just appreciate that you're just able to open up your eyes and move on. Pain will be in your life. That means that you're actually alive. You just don't have to linger in the pain. It, it's just I something that happened. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's a the positive thinking. I mean, you did a, a wonderful job where all this negativity around you and I mean, you, we have choices in your life, in our lives and we make 
you made re the choice of making a change and you had that little click within you and that made it happen. Is this just, and then uh, the, you know, they always say positivity is contagious, just as negativity yeah. is too. But in my, so my family over time, so I'm giving you the fast forward for 15 years. Can we just hold on this up after the, hmm? after the break? Let's go for that story after the break. We sure. have to take a little sure. break. We are listening to BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker. Stay tuned and listen to the story. My Dreams, My Challenges, and Joys is an inspiring book by author Linda Genazzo. This real-life account of raising a child with autism from birth to adulthood takes you on a journey of compassion, love, and hope as it tells the incredible story of a devoted family and their beloved daughter. Together, they faced adversity and never stopped believing they would find the help they were seeking. A breast cancer survivor, Linda Genazzo has a giving heart. With a background in social work with the mentally ill and the homeless, Linda continues to help families in her community. And her book, My Dreams, My Challenges and Joys, brings greater awareness to autism and those families in need. To purchase your copy, visit www.lindagenazzo.com. It's also available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Don't delay. Get your copy today. Jenny Friend is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified clinical sexologist, commonly known as a sex therapist, with over 30 years of experience in the field of sexuality. She's been a researcher and teacher and is further trained in human development over the lifespan. She's also a published author and a radio personality. Her specialized training in lifespan developments means she can help individuals, couples, and families through difficult developmental phases. Her primary ways of working are through the tools of cognitive, behavioral, and psychoenergetics theories and techniques. Couples, individual men and women, and families are also welcome. She can meet in her office in Costa Mesa, California, or on the Internet through Skype at Jenny Friend MFT. Call 714-210-9200. You can also send an email from her website at www.centerforclarity.org. That phone number again is 714-210-9200. Welcome back to BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Barbara Scheidecker, and you are listening to Let It Go. There is no future in the past. We have Sasha Blakey, who may, transformed her life through positive thinking. She did a great job on it. Sasha, just tell us that little story that you want to tell us about your family, about how contagious positive thinking can be. Yeah, so what, I was, uh, what Barbara knows is that, you know, through me being the rebel, quote unquote, and going against the grain, but being really positive. And instead of, I literally, I mean, as in hang up the phone, sometimes I would refuse to hear negativity around me. It, over time, and it, it took time, it became contagious. So much so that other family members all started transforming the way they felt and the way they interacted with one another, so much so they've, many of them have moved to L.A. and San Francisco. Everybody interacts very well with one another now. It's just, it's, it's contagious in the positive way. So basically you told them if you have something negative to say, I'm not listening, I hang up, call me when you have something positive. Yeah. Yeah, I said I, I can't I can't let this into my life anymore, and I would hang up. And it was it was really bold for me because my parents, yeah. like I said, are very old school. So, but it worked. It's never too late to transform. It doesn't matter if this feels good. I, I do understand. You know, we have the the tendency to always. And I say always go for the negative. And that brings us it's down, easy. completely down. So if, but we have, if we can focus on the negative, we can focus on the positive too, because we have a choice. 
And that's what people have to understand. We have a choice to do so. Who is actually uh, running your life? The people outside or are you running your life on your own? What people do have to understand in this state of thinking positive, you heal from inside out. And that's once the healing from inside out. No matter if how pretty you look, if you're inside, you're not in a positive state, you, you, you bring it out to the people. You can be the most beautiful person. If you don't feel good, people will feel it and they won't react to you. So it's stay beautiful inside and outside. Positivity is like sunshine for your soul. Yes. And this is actually, that's actually what happens in hypnotherapy. I guide people through their positive thinking. We're, they don't have to relive the negative in their lives or their traumas. We just release it. Who cares what you went through and what happened and who did it to you? Why just release it and being free of that and think about the positive aspect from today that actually, like you said very well, Sasha, you're alive. You're alive. This is a positive thinking already in the morning when you wake up. You, this is very important. Sasha, I thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, to being on my show and I love your book and you people can buy it on Amazon. It's, it's wonderful and I feel fantastic just listening to your voice and to your story. Thank you so much for, for being part of this show. Thank you so much, Barbara, for everything. This has been Let It Go with your host, Barbara Scheidegger. Listen each week as Barbara will help you find the way to clarity, peace, and how to live a successful life on your terms by turning negative experiences into positive ones on Barbara Scheidegger's Let It Go. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.